Hi golfers, we're just doing some experimentation on the best way to break bunkers. Now we fiddled around for a while with pulling the sand towards the side of the bunker and then we also messed around with pushing it towards the centre. And I think you'll agree with me, uh, the care required to rake a bunker the old traditional way where you actually rake the sand this way back towards the edge. Now it took me quite a bit of practice and have to be very very careful to get a result that players behind would be happy with. It's not just me but the players behind. So you can see here, you must always push back into the centre too, you, you must do that. But if you watch these next shots, the next couple that we played, we messed around with here. Have a look at this. So we play the bunker shot. Two hands on the rake. Always keep that in mind. Toss the club back to the side. Fantastic photography there, Bill. Now toss it back to the side. Now have a look at the result I get with this. So it's just as easy for me to do it. I don't end up with any of those little pop rake marks that you can see. Just pushing over the top of the one in front, you can see that there isn't any of those little rake marks. You know the infuriating little things where the, the line of the rake teeth uh, drop into the sand and it's a quarter of an inch drop, makes the bunker shot more difficult. Now this is a big point, make sure you always push the sand back in from the edge, always. It's a very important part of what happens is that all the sand just get raked, raked up on the edge, you end up with about a four or five inch lip and it makes it almost impossible for you to play the shot. Now we're just to make sure that we are on the right page here. Play another one a bit further into the bunker. Now toss the club back to the side. Two hands on the rake. And you look at the result I get here. So there are none of those infuriating little rake marks that you often see all over the bunker. The ball always seems to accumulate in there. Push it down from the side so we're not raking or making the back lip any bigger. Here we are. Push it back into the centre. That's it. Oops. Oh, we dragged a bit of grass in. Make sure we take that back out. Come on. Off we go. That's it. As you can see, you should always lay the rake down in the direction of the hole and check out our raking and it's pretty good. Good luck, good golfing.